Just a quick update on BB-8, I haven't done this for a little while because this frame uh, has been part of a, a beta testing group and uh, I didn't design it, it's not my design, I wish it was, I wish I was this gifted but I'm just not. Um, but uh, the guy who has designed this is um, in the BB-8 Builders Club, uh, he's done a fantastic job. I know there's a, there's two or three different ways of doing it, this is just one of some of the designs but this is the one that I kind of like the look of, so I, I sort of offered to get involved and do some beta testing. Um, I'm a little bit behind some of them, so um, sort of catching up at the moment. But um, uh, I'm just recording this now for when I can go ahead and release it. Um, <clears throat> basically, the, um, the frame is 24 parts that are all the same. So this sort of sort of crown-like piece, I suppose, you know, if you imagine that as a crown there. Um, there's 24 of those and they all interlock uh, there's uh, big metal washers uh, in between the two that fit in a slot in between and they're, they're super glued uh, and then they're, these are all fitted together and then there's a lot of um, nuts and bolts and hardware that hold them in we've also got some um, uh, threaded M4 inserts which behave like uh, captive nuts you can just see them so on the other side there and that's what's keeping the the outside triangles on. Um, I'm still working on these um, the vents. They didn't really come out very well on the 3D printer. All this is 3D printed, by the way. But the uh, to get to get the top bit right where the where the um, the washers go, uh, it means I can't get this too right. So what I'm doing for the time being is just filling in. I'm going to try and recarve that out later. Um, but it just gives you an idea how it's all going together. It's all removable. All the um, the, the, the discs or the, the circles are stuck together, but then everything else is bolted together. So it can be pretty much disassembled and all these cross braces just pop out and just undo the screws and the nuts and the bolts and they pop out and we can get in there to do axles because there's going to be a, uh, an axle adapter that fits into the screws. If we go right in on those, you can see those six screws in a uh, triangle shape that's going to be where the adapters sit in and there's going to be a single axle that goes right the way through so from this end right the way through down to the bottom there but what I'm doing at the moment is just sanding and filling the triangles they're a bit too big for my printer so I've there I'm using the ones that have been cut down so there's three of them to be joined together uh, and I'm just about to take one off and uh, get some primer on it because the primer helps the sanding process so I'll um, come back to you in a bit Okay, update on BB. Uh, basically, he's coming on pretty well. We've got uh, the head's been done for some time, as you know. So I've been working on the body, um, and if I, I'm just gonna, just going to move the head if I can do it without dropping it. So this is the body at the moment. Now it's not completely finished. But it's got most of it done. It's all 3D printed. Uh, these are the the club files. Um, this is basically what we've got inside. So we've got that. I'm sure you've seen that big framework that I've been working on for some time now, um, which is Kerry Christie, uh, his design from the um, BB8 Builders Club. Uh, he's done a fantastic job designing this. I think the files are now released. I think they'll be released on the 24th. So anyone who's wanting these files can now pile in and grab them. Um, obviously you have to be a member of the BB-8 Builders Club and you have to follow some rules. Um, this is for the license allows us to make these for personal use. Uh, it certainly doesn't allow us to build these to start selling loads and loads of them. So obvious sort of common sense reasons really. Um, but um, he's done a fantastic job. 
Um, him and some of the others are working on other bits and pieces now. There's going to be some clear lenses coming for the lights in the in the panels, um, and uh, there's a lot of work going on on the drivetrain concept at the moment. So that's it for now. I shall come back to you soon with the next update. Hi there. Uh, just a little update on BB. Um, I'm trying to uh, get a decent uh, coverage of primer on all of these uh, triangle panels at the moment, and uh, some of the some of the main panels. I've got four more here that are uh, just being primed. It's basically, just prime sand, prime sand until you've got a pretty good finish. And there's a couple more in here where. They need a little bit of potty work going in. There's a bit of a, I must have dropped something on there. There's a little bit of a cut on it, so I've just filled that up. And just here, there's a bit of a, a bit of a ridge. So really, it's just a case of, um, as I said before, sanding and priming, and just keep going until you've got a, a nice result. Okay, it's sixth uh, of July, 2016. Uh, update on BB8. Um, I've got a couple of these triangle panels now where I've put some top coat on and they're looking quite nice uh, but I can still see some little lines, some grain where the you can see the the, uh, the layers of the, the 3D printer so although it's coming on uh, I'd like to get it a bit better if I can you can still see some little marks and things so I know it's going to get marked later on but I just, I just want it to be as nice as possible to start with uh, this is the sort of thing I'm trying to get rid of. The you can see the lines here, uh, where you can see how the the 3D printer's been made up. If I get the light right, it will sort of accentuate it, and make it look worse. So, so that's what I'm doing. So these have had quite a bit of a a, a rub down and a uh, you know a few layers of primer already. But I've just bought some filler primer, and I'm going to give that a go uh, because that should help fill some of this some of these sort of um, little trenches if you like, little scratches they look like so uh, I've got that set up out here I'm making the most of some good weather so you may have seen I've used this before when I was building uh, R2 uh, I've got one coat on there already that's interesting it looks like it's splitting slightly uh, on the white that's there below it so um, I might have to build it up a little bit slower maybe I'll put a bit too much on on one go there so um, but uh, this is this is what I'm using it's just Halford's filler primer it comes out that sort of yellowy color so, <clears throat> and then I'm giving it a bit of a rub down in between so but we need to find out why yeah that's separating maybe it's because it's out in the sun I don't know yeah, it's definitely separating. It's a bit of a shame. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a rub back now and uh, try and get another coat on there and see how it goes. Okay, uh, right, that's pretty much all the panels now got first coat of um, filler primer on them. So I'm being invaded by BB-8 parts at the moment. So um, that's first coat. I'm going to go and get some more tins because I just went through a massive tin of that in about 10 minutes flat. So uh, there we go, so that's where we are at the moment. Uh, I'm going to leave the two on the body that I've already done. They think they look okay for now, although I may change the top colour. So um, there we go, I'll uh, catch up with you a bit later. Another little stage on these panels, the um, triangles for BB-8, is to try and make sure that the inside is, is nice and smooth and the, the inner sphere is going to fit properly. Some of these have a little bit of a, a raised edge so they're going to make the whole thing sit up slightly on the frame so what I'm doing is I'm using um, a, a, a sander and just basically going around there going around the glue and going around where you've got you see the little lines just here so I'm trying to remove those so the, the, the neater that sits down to the chassis the neater the whole thing's going to look so uh, basically I'm just making it all nice and smooth trying to make it no lumps so it'll sit down nicely and on the outside just keep working on it until 
and we get a really really nice finish. The trouble with 3D printing is you get all these lines, you get the grain, but with enough time and patience you can get pretty much most of it out. Still a bit to do there but it's coming on. So I might be being a bit fussy but I want to do a good job if I can. So uh, I'll uh, show you a little bit more in a, in a little while. Okay they're coming on not too bad. I've uh, just got a little a few little bits and pieces I need to do some work on where we've got some little cracks and some little lines that are a bit too deep for um, the Fella Primer so I'm just gonna give those a little bit of um, putty uh, and that will help help fill the larger gaps and uh, well, carry on the same old thing really this is gonna take a little while to get these down smooth enough but um, I won't bore you with all the details because there's a lot of repetition going on here but uh, I'll show you how we're going from time to time. Just in case I haven't showed you before this is what I'm using fast drying white putty I just get this off of eBay um, just basically just model putty or model filler uh, just work it into the cracks give it half an hour or so and you can give it a light rub down but I think it was about 24 hours before it's completely hardened um, but uh, it's quite easy to use just, just sort of push it all the way in, let it um, let it find its level and then what I tend to do is, like on this one here, there's a little bit here I'm just going to really, not going to build up too much but just really squeeze it down into, into the little gap there and then once that's had some time to dry we can just get some, uh, get one of these sanding sponges on there and make it nice and smooth again and the same with all these little joints down here there's a join there there's one across the middle there's a seam so I'm just trying to make those disappear as much as possible uh, a little bit to do on that one as well the triangles don't need much filling now it's really they're coming on quite nicely just with the with the filler putty it's really just that one maybe a little bit just there um, I know you tell me if you're, maybe I'm being a bit too fussy but uh, uh, might as well get it right at this stage the nice thing about this design though is that if, as he's going to be rolling along on all this uh, I mean this is going to want a lot of primer, uh, several coats of top coat and then some lacquer as well to sort of uh, seal it in and hopefully protect it when he's rolling around but he's going to get scratched and uh, you know little little marks from time to time so the nice thing is that each of these panels can be removed and repainted or replaced as time goes on so that could be rather handy so yeah they're all over the place one down there i think that's, so there's six discs and eight triangles if memory serves so oh no i've already brought that one in so so there we go i'm probably going to um conclude this video um because this is going to take me a little while to get these finished so uh i'll, I'll end this one for now otherwise it's going to get a bit too long and then i shall um put together another another one for um for part four but this is the end of part three so thanks for watching i hope it's been helpful if somebody else is um also in the in the um, bba builders club and and following along with this um and just a, a big thank you to everyone involved in the bba builders club and for me especially carrie christie who came up with this design uh he's put a lot of work into this and a lot of money these these things aren't cheap to print yet alone design with all the testing you would have had to have done so um thank you very much indeed and um, I'll talk to you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.